Welcome to Metatron Mondo, first live stream ever. Here Friday night, and what we're going to be looking at is, yeah, some real power. Yeah, yeah. Some at night time. Shroud speeder. Live. First time ever. Only appropriate that we do it under the right conditions. Get some power going here. Feeling pretty good. Had a pretty good week this week. That's all the carnage from the bounties. These are the bounties that pay for the shroud speeders. Yes, sir. None of this would be possible without your comfort. Your comfort here leads to your comfort here. Discomfort's much better. Ask the kid. He's been riding with me for a while. He's even got his own little action thing going on here. Downtown. Downtown. He's been training. You know he rolls with the Mandos now, right? That's right. So I'm kind of doing this just to see if anybody has some questions about... What kind of insanity it takes to build a freaking Star Wars speeder bike. It all started with motorcycles. I went to my cousin's farm and they had a Honda CT70. And uh, my aunt said, go ahead and give it a try. I jumped on. She had a nice little garden with a white picket fence, and I took that son bitch out real quick. But I couldn't stop riding ever since then. Now that we've gotten a little bit older, we don't have to go as fast. But we absolutely want to look cool. And how cool is cool when you're on an e-speeder bike? That little wheel bar back there is for stunts. I'm working on that. I'm a little older now, so my training is going to take a little longer. I need a test rider. That's what I freaking need, man. I need somebody that's young, dumb, full of cum, and can do some stunts. So, if you're a stunt rider, go ahead and give us a PM. This was designed for you to go ape shit on 15 miles an hour of freestyle fun that's what it's all about that's why the balance points way back yeah so you can just roll up on that wheel and just chill womp womp just be chilling Now, granted, I wanted to make this lightsaber fit on the front end. So that is why it's 40 inches long. It looks badass. But it is a sunbitch to ride. But it's all good. If you've ridden in the dirt, you can handle it. The stunt pegs in the back there I ain't bold enough to get up on them some bitches yet. But that's right at the balance point of the wheel that's not there because it's a speeder bike. It's hovering. It's hovering. Use your imagination. So, but basically what it is, 
is it is a deep in the Amazon. I had to search for this some bitch. Uh, 350 watt, 36 volt scooter. And this is the base frame here. And then we went ahead and chopped the shit out of the top of it. Shrunk down the front end. Obviously the headlight's no good. But it makes a backlight for the Mando Shroud icon. And of course the little release here sucks. So we put some dog chain on on that. that. Lightsaber was the base of the build. So we had to make the front end as long as that. And then we got a Dodge Challenger side back window louver kit melted down just like Anakin yep magnetically sealed so that it can be removed easily damn June bugs look at them some bitches they everywhere but anyway uh then we got some reverse ape hanger handlebars everybody's like can you get some ape hanger because you look like a t-rex that's right i'm a t-rex and i eat your asses but yeah the ape hangers are down low look at that see it's even got auto shut off thing shut down smart it's so smart it's like a droid i don't like droids but hey they're with us we gotta deal with them then what we did is welded in a subframe here my son works at tesla this is not from tesla we don't know anywhere about where it came from but we changed it anyway so it's a dual moto and we've got mr microphone up in there voice changer it's pretty badass maybe i'll break that out later we've got the space mirror Woo! yeah yeah and then we, what we did is we put on a subframe over and down use some badass stunt pegs to hold on these kawasaki side number plates and radiator covers and this is a honda CRF 50 gas tank side cover number plate and rear fender kit. We put that up there because you don't put your little dicky up there because then you fall in. So, warning. And that is not a fuel tank, that is fuel, priceless fuel of the person who inspired me, Jagger of the Mando clan shroud. Had a badass frame at ShroudCon 22. And that thing was so cool. I was like, dude, you got a rolling frame here. You're halfway done. Let's finish this shit. Let's get her done. Let's make this a reality. So, I haven't done all these lives. I see a lot of people joining and that's badass. I don't know how to do this shit. I'm 55. No, listen. Level 55. It's not age anymore. It's level 55 but i'm not experienced in the live thing but i see a lot of people up in there thanks for joining and i'll start reading this shit now if anybody's got something in particular that they want to ask about this but i think we stopped at the crf 50 kit and then what we got here is a cool pin gun case chopped down for the main hall and What's in the main hall? Oh, I'm gonna move this for a minute. So we got, man, we live in Texas. You gotta have a pickup bed. You gotta have a tailgate. Absolutely. Yeah, sponsored by the Empire. This tailgate party sponsored by the Empire. So you got all kinds of room in here for cool shit. Like, you got a flashlight in here in case we do some night riding. You got a tripod. Put your Gatorade in there. Put your purple possum milk up in here in the gas tank. The kid will be watching it. He'll be taking that shit. He's all armed up, ready to rock. And then, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. It's just uh, got all this little tool wrap here with all the tools. So far, she's been really good. Today, I took her up a badass incline, and I got an EO3, which means your ass is too fat, and it won't take you up the hill. So, but that's all good. It cooled down. We were all on the road again, but she's really reliable. 15 miles an hour. I absolutely would not want to go any faster than 15 on this thing. That is plenty fast enough. 
And actually, the people on the trails, they fucking look at me like I'm a goddamn UFO. I have one out of ten people look at me like, or excuse me, nine out of ten people look at me like I'm a fucking UFO. And the other one person asks, what the fuck is that? So, in my opinion, I think I did a pretty damn good job. And uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'd like to build another one. We got this here in the garage. I bought it for spare parts, but who's next? Free build. Long live the shroud. It's fun as hell. It took me about eight days eight days I'm not a good welder I bought a little arc welder here which is kind of a piece of shit but hey you know it made it it made it work got some extra steel and shit here we're gonna redo if we make another one we're definitely going to make the front end 10 inches shorter so that'll put our front end had a little bit more acceptable raking trail some guy on a bicycle said you just fucking don't even understand raking trail and i was like dude i used to ride dirt bikes fuck that front wheel you don't need that shit that's only a partial thing for parking and starting off so anyway we would make it 10 inches shorter and what we do is, if you want to put a lightsaber on is we'll reform this swallow five inches of it up into there make a bracket here and then you can have the heel come up a little bit higher to that but that'll that'll roll her down give you a little bit more stable action and feel more like a regular type of vehicle but having those feet up on the bars there like that man that thing's pretty damn stable and like i said if you're i need a stunt rider you can really steer the son bitch with your feet man we talk about ape hangers man so yeah maybe we'll do something like sugar bear did on the front end you know i just chopped the front fork and put it on there straight so it's a straight axle and that's not ideally the best way to do a chopper so sugar bear man he was the dude he made the springer front end that son bitch rolled like a golden dream so maybe we'll make some sort of like a under axle front end with dual rods square tube possibly and uh that would definitely tighten up that front end to make her carve like a freaking sp real speeder so cool cool I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just like i see waves here i've never done this before so i'm gonna go wave at everybody that joined up in here so cool cool Let's kill this light, man. Let's see the sucker under the natural lighting of chaos. Yeah. There we go. Let's get that. Let's get the power back up on this thing. Let's go over to the master control. Boom. We're hot. So what we got here is we got eco, drive, and speed. Eco, I don't even know what that's on there for. It's like 5 miles an hour. Drive is like 11 miles an hour. Speed is 15 miles an hour. You can change stuff like kilometers. Um, it took me a while. There's no, you know, it's from China. They don't give you no goddamn instructions. It's like a video game. So, hey, turn the light on. Double click it. Double click it. You get a tachometer. And an ohm signal. The ohm signal lets it take off without any pre-movement. Look at the torque on that bitch. Yep. And then uh, this little tripometer beeps, I think, like every quarter mile. So, I don't know. I just look at the bars. And when we get down to two bars, you better be getting your ass home. So, double click. That's off. Double click. That's back on that's off you know no instructions it's like xbox man you just gotta fucking start a uh, hitting shit until you fucking kill that son of a bitch you're looking to do so but yeah pretty cool that's actually a nice display most of them are lcd this one actually lights up you know so 
You can actually see the damn thing in the daytime. Not like it matters. It's like, woo, I'm going 15. But believe it or not, 15 on this thing is plenty fast. Plenty fast. So, cool. The lightsabers are actually from Saber Masters. Saber Masters had a pretty good deal. Pick up two lightsabers for like 200 bucks. And what we used was a cool pin mounting system for the front one. And the other one is just kind of rolled up into the fuel tank with a little bit of Armaflex. I don't know what we'd use Armaflex for. I don't know where I get that shit from. But anyway, yeah, we use Armaflex. And then the frame, this thing went together like a dream. The frame just accepted it like a beautiful piece of art right through it. No problem whatsoever. The power of a lightsaber. Got this badass LED brake light. Yeah, look at that. Lighting up the shroud. Mandalorian skull. Got the gold pegs and the gold saber handles and yeah, that's that's an for my cosplay kit, the mini sour crowd dragon. This thing was so badass. It's like, oh, I gotta get a bike chain for it. So screw that. I'm gonna get me a mini sour crate. Crate, excuse me, mini sour crate dragon. So yeah, that's what protects this. Cool, cool. Well. Any other questions? Anything else y'all want to see on this thing? I do want to build someone. Some. I do want to build some. I want to build some custom. But, like I said, it's a... Uh, it'd be a bit. It'd be like probably about a month. But, I think I could do this for like about twenty six sixty nine Minus the lightsabers... Because those fucking things took forever to get to me. That really sucked. That was like the hardest thing to get. It was like I ordered those things and I swear to God that Yoda was going through the fucking forest to get them for me. I don't know where the hell they came from, but yeah, they took forever. But I'm not upset with them. They work. They're good. They're, I got what I paid for. But the main reason I got them is because I do like to spin the staff. And they came with this cool freaking connector. So I got a little cover on it. But I can connect both of them together. So I got a staff. So double bladed weapons are much more effective. 50% more efficient. With every attack or every defense, there's a defense with every attack. Yeah, figure that out. That's exactly what it's going to look like when a dual bladed weapon comes at you what the fuck is going on so cool cool i love it it's so freaking fun i actually love the reactions more than anything else i took it to southwest by south south by southwest and yeah you see some weird shit down there i usually don't go to it but i was like I think I might have something that might catch someone's attention. And yeah, pretty much half the people down there look at me like I was a freaking UFO. The people that run the rickshaw trike carts back and forth, take you to different places, they they were tripping balls. They are absolutely tripping balls on this thing. So I know I did a good job. When the freaks love me, you've done well. Cool, cool. I'd love to go ride it. I need to get me a... Somebody needs to buy one of these so I can go get me a goddamn GoPro. And that's when the next thing we need to do is get a GoPro. Right now, all I got is my iPhone and a cheap-ass freaking phone holder. And I got two camera shots and I'm kind of getting bored with them. So if anybody's got any ideas for a different kind of camera shot, give me a camera shot. I'm working on the wheelies. Got me a mini tripod that fits in the back there now, so that's cool. So, there's a cool school. I live like about a half a mile away from a school, and they have a beautifully black asphalt paved 
parking lot. And there it is. The smartness just shuts itself off. The lightsabers will do that too after a while. I'm not sure how long, but all the smart shit, it just shuts itself off. So, cool, cool. But yeah, that school's got a nice parking lot, nice and smooth. Practice in the wheelies. Eventually, I'll get to the wheelies to a point where no feet. But I do. If somebody's a stunt driver, I'll give you a discount. Let me know. So, anyway, y'all. Have a good one. Keep looking. Keep watching. Because we just starting. Get your motors run and... Welcome.